Hey guys, Zell here, and welcome back to more Fate Grand Order. Shadow in Shadow in Shadow. I'm getting a skin, an outfit for for who? Is this one of the male outfits? Uh. All right. Let's bring this Ushiwaka Maru. Go back onto the summers servant. And yeah. Let's -a go. As I say, I didn't eh, whatever. There's a reason why I bought her. But obviously I forgot that I had my support on the far end of our gr group. That was a great meal. I guess we ended up having lunch kind of t late today, didn't we, senpai? Oh, don't worry about that. This banana sauce is the best no matter what time of day it is. So what shall we do this afternoon? Do we keep working on the book and maybe go sightseeing? Put me down for sightseeing. We could rent a boat to do a little scuba diving in. Hmm. Well, that's not shitty at all. I'll try asking him what he wants. Yeah, we should probably do something about him. Don't want him ruining all the other tourist lunches by making them feel watched. Hey, you in the hood. We see you there, slinking around the shadows. What gives? This doesn't continue, Robin Hood. Just forget you ever saw me. I'm currently on a solo mission for extremely personal reasons that even I don't fully comprehend. Don't worry, I'm not gonna hurt you guys or any of the other guests. The problem is that uh, creeping around armed to the teeth like that is a little menacing on its own. It makes you look about five times as murderous as usual. Is everything okay, Emiya? Yeah, everything's fine. It's just that that family over there is. Never mind. It's nothing. I'm just making the most of my time at Lulu Hawa. What, what? 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 What happened in the last five seconds? It's not you guys. It's those men over there who, who look so shady. La la la. You're certainly in a good mood, Elia. Was that loco mocha really that delicious? It sure was. I've never had authentic gravy like that before. Mommy's loco mocha bowls were always yummy. But the locomoco here is yummy too. Right, Chloe? Right, Caster? Yeah, it was alright, I guess. Uh -huh. Yes, I liked it a lot. <laughs> I figured that these were the ones he was staring at. I never thought I'd get the chance to try tropical cuisine in this body. My family is full of surprises. Not to mention, I got to meet all of you, too. What a lovely day this is turning out to be. Yep, sure, there are a lot of strange coincidences now and then. Never would have pinged a pretty lady like you a caster, what with you all flustered trying to figure out what to order. Thank you all again. This was a wonderful lunch. Thank you. I'm so glad I got to have lunch with you, caster. Come to think of it, this is the first time Mother, I mean, Caster and us have all eaten together, isn't it? Uh-huh. Oh, Elia, all those times we told her to mind her own business and she still can't help herself. No, no, no harm in talking to new people occasionally, right? Besides, it's summer vacation. Summer vacation? What do you think Caldea is at school? Chloe? Uh, sorry, it's nothing, really. Eh, <laughs> what's with all the cutesy shy act all of a sudden, Chloe? M me cutesy. I don't know if our paths will ever cross again. This was lovely. Thank you all again. I had a lovely time. Are you all going to Seventh Fest? Mm, it looks like a lot of fun, but... No thanks. Not my thing. Aw, oh, come on. Can't we, can't we at least go for a little bit to see what it's like? 
Exactly. Vacations like this are a rare opportunity, especially where Seven Fest is involved. I know we can cosplay together like they say if you flaunt- got it, flaunt it. Oh god, I'm having PTSD of, of seeing him in a skirt. <laughs> oh god, that was not- I mean, that was hilarious at the same time, really cringy. Uh, did, did we ever get a rerun of that event? I think we did? At the same time, probably not. I do not remember, it's been too long. But still seeing him in that outfit was so <laughs> awkward. And you two have what it takes to dominate. I'd love to see your beast mode up close and personal. Bring that out and you could absolutely destroy Mave. You'll go down to Seven Fest Legends. Huh? Who is this creeper? Isn't that right, ukulele sensei? Talk of the nighttime bar scene. I can't speak to you that, but I do think it would be wonderful if that old woman there were to join them. Cosplay is all about contrast. Having a cute cosplayer and a beautiful cosplayer side by side, well, there's nothing better in my book. Huh? What's going on? You know, you're right. I was so focused on the little beast in front of me that I lost sight of the HD image. Then on that note, how would you like to join us as well, milady? This is a new costume you want? I've got volunteers who are more than happy to provide. Oh my, really? Thank you, sirs. That's very kind of you. Then perhaps I'll try dressing up as a magical girl alongside alien Chloe. If this is the line of thinking that they're going for, I am all for seeing Eidosfiel dressed up as a magical girl. I want to see how that would look. Oh, baby, now you're talking. All right, men, bring me the finest tailor in all of Luluhawa. Step on it before Master shows up to stop us like some sort of counterforce right sensei. True. It seems I have no choice but to ride this way. I thought I'd start by offering those guys, if, it, if it's all right with you. Now I get it. Don't worry, we won't stop you. Help for this. We'll even lend you a hand. It'd be one a thing if those girls volunteer to attend a con. That's practically a scam. Blackbeard may be a lost cause, but I do think that musician could stand it to think about what he's doing. If he keeps this sort of thing up, he'll bring shame to the rest of the round table. He's already done that. Let's do it. I'll separate them from the girls. Luckily, I still have some flash bombs. Oh, you want to know how they're used? Like this. What the hell was that? My eyes, my eyes. Get ready, men. What an attack, damn it. What's BB's con staff doing here? I never learn, man. I never learn. It kicked me out of it again. But hey, when it's all said and done, it'll allow me to actually swap Ushuakamaru to the front line so we can actually see her fight. So I guess it's not all bad. Kind of. We also get to see what she looks like in her uh, swimsuit. Looks really nice. Does that mean I'm gonna go, uh,. Spend some money, get some insane quartz, and actually roll for it right now. Hell no! If I were to do that, I would try for BB first before I would try for Ushiwakamaru. Mainly because I also don't have Mabe. And I have a higher chance of getting her than I do of getting someone I don't have in the other banner. Why is everyone getting stunned? Oh, 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 they're stunned because of the flash bomb, but the flash bomb didn't work for the ukulele guard because his eyes are always naturally closed anyways. For a quick second, I was wondering why his why he didn't get stunned, but then I instantly just thought of that, and it makes a hell of a lot of sense why he didn't get stunned. I still, after all this time, do not like him. 
I still don't. I mean, I never really have. Especially after what he did. Did what was his name? Tristan. Yeah. After what he. After what I saw him do in that in that one singularity, I do not like him at all. No, no amount of redeeming he could do to ever make me actually like his character. Hey, her one attack actually formed a star. That was neat. Now, would we actually be able to get, you know, her noble phantasm up? Probably not. I mean, you never know. It, it could potentially happen. And he just gave himself some guts. All right. Ukulele punk. You are going down. Also, don't remember if you're a single target or AoE. Shiwakamaru has her noble phantasm. And look at that, everyone gets to survive this round. I'm saying Ibaraki gets to survive mainly because she's a, uh, <laughs> a Ransa. And should ultimately be able to, right? I'd hope. And come here, Murae. Thank you, Sven. Akarashima Kaze. And. Do that. Probably should have done the arts, but. I went with the crit instead. Nice damage. Would have been better if she had more crits, but it's fine. I teach you. You have one HP left. Are you A or we are a single? You are single. And you can go through evade, can't you? Yep, sure hit. Jolter, no! I hate you even more now, Tristan. I hate you even more now. How dare you? How dare you do that to my beloved Jolter? Finish him off! Frick. I mean, hey, at least we got to see Ushawakamaru in a swimsuit. Her final stage at that, I think. Before, you know, this event's over and I don't ever actually show her. And we also got to see a noble phantasm. Not bad. Uh huh. What happened to all those people surrounding us? All I know is I saw a bright flash and then they were gone. I wonder what that was all about. Too bad, I was looking forward to taking a picture of all three of us. And no way, that would just bring all sorts of deviants out of the woodwork. Hey. <laughs> I would want to see Otis feel in a, in a uh, magical girl outfit. Now, that potentially could already exist somewhere on, on the internet. Would I go find it? No, because I have other things I would rather do than searching that up. As I say, but as I'm grinding, I'll probably go look it up. Just to see. You never know. Thanks. I don't know why that was bothering me so much. But I feel better now. Oh, I know why. Alright. I better go keep an eye out for any other potential blackbeards. <laughs> Gotta make sure things stay nice and peaceful around here, after all. I see Amy is going back to tailing, I mean, protecting Iris free on the others. I think we all know why Emmy is so nervous, but some things have been left unsaid. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Some things are definitely better left unsaid. Spiritone Dress Summer Hunter Unlockable. Wait. Is this a summer outfit for... No.
is that is that Robin's summer outfit or is that Assassin Emia's summer outfit? Pretty sure it's not summer Emia. I, I'm pretty sure Emia doesn't even have a summer outfit. That is Robin's, right? Shop. Uh... How the heck do you... Uh, why do I every single time never remember how the heck to do this? Was it in hand? Yeah. Costume unlockable. Yep. Details. That's a lot of materials just to be able to have him in a summer outfit. I think not. Sorry, Robin. But you shall not have that on my account. Just saying. Maybe if I'm bored. Sure. Maybe. Possibly. Right now. No, thank you. I will, however, be right back on day th three, night three? Or is it day four, night four? No, no, it's it's the night. I need two hundred fifty thousand points on every category, and then bam, I get whatever this thing is. I think it's another command code. And we have to fight a berserker and someone else. Okay, I will be right back. All right, I am now back on the day, third day. Well, yeah, third day, third night, whatever you want to call it. Ibaraki Summer Hawaiian Summer. Bazaka, Seba, we now have almost four days left until this event is over. I need to kick into high gear, man. I was doing this and I was recording it non stop. What the heck happened? Besides me uh, needing to do a lot of other events. Like, really? How did I let it get this out of control? Hmm, level 70 Jonah. Eh, yeah, sure, why not? Now, let's go back again to my summer category. Bring Jolta out, and let's go. Well, no, seriously, I can't believe I actually let it drag on this far. I, I still have the rest of Summer 1 and all of Summer 2, well, Part 2 that I need to do. Summer 3, Part 1, and Part 2. Good morning, Master. Looks like it's going to be another beautiful day in Lulu Hawa. Why don't we start it off with some breakfast? Now, what do I feel like today? Did you hear that, Master? It sounded like it was coming from the buffet. The hell was that sound? Your master, come with me. Damn it, how many times have I got to tell you? No fighting in the freaking hotel. Mm, mm, mm. Okay, let's get back to it. Mm, mm, no. Ah, that was delicious. Now, where were we? Uh -huh. Here's to a good, clean fight. And by that, I mean I'm gonna yank your guts out th through your throat and use your entrails to hang you from the nearest bunny and fig tree. Oh, you're disgusting. People eat here, you know. Why can't you just vaporize your opponents so there's no mess to clean up like me? Um, personally, I'd, ra I'd, ra I'd ra kind of rather you didn't fight in the dining hall at all. There we are. Um, excuse me, what's going on? And I tell you to cut that shit out. You're gonna f if you're gonna fight, take it out to the beach. I'm afraid I can't do that. I would never be foolish enough to turn my back on an Oni. Not doing it either. I know her type. She's the kind of monster who wouldn't think twice about l lying to your face and stabbing you in the back. So, of course I can kill less about anyone who isn't master. What's your point? What's this all about now? Master! Oh, please help me! I'm so scared! Kawaii Desne! I was just defending myself against the Baraki's terrifying outburst. No, I was fighting to protect humanity itself. 
What the hell? She seriously changed her tune here. I understand how you feel, Kim. He made sudden personality changes. Um, drastic. I like you. Have a seat. I know she didn't come to spy on me today. No, I thought it wasn't for a lack of trying. Who knew what hotels had such good security? I'm pretty sure security ain't got nothing on Caldea's. If you want to fight, take it to the beach. I'm the one who's gonna clean up this mess, you know. Now go on and take Master with you. <laughs> Gee, thanks, Mordred. So why were you fighting anyway? Well, it went something like this. Hmm, isn't that... Oh, it's just a little dragon. Come on, Ebrook, you should know better than to go picking fights. Little, you want to talk? Once an Oni who's been banned for om almost everywhere doing in a nice hotel like this. Who's been banned from, almost. Shouldn't be a, shouldn't a berserk like you be staying in a box on the side of the road or something. I can't hear me want to dump the gas on the fire. <laughs> no kidding. Huh. Hate to bring it to you, but I'm a lancer now. I've got twice as much patience and the same amount of hatred. I am so strong right now. I could get used to this lancer business. What? A lancer? Well, time for you to die. How does that make sense? <laughs> I trust you see now why that foul Oni and I can never get possibly get along. You're just being dumb. Come on, master. I didn't do anything wrong, right? Uh, in this one very specific case, I mean. Lancer, come to think of it, you're at least now too old to Kirihime. Yes, yes she is. I, however, didn't get her last time. I tried to get her, but she avoided me like the plague for whatever reason, and Tamamo came home twice. And Mordred Rider also ignored me like the plague. Oh, I'm having flashbacks of terrible, terrible roles. Moving on. Exactly. That's exactly the problem. I knew you'd understand, Marsh. So you're trying to kill her because she's a lancer just like you. Yes, that's right. We're both berserkers who became lancers. We're far too much alike to be on the same stage. There can only be one. No, there can't. I mean, yes, there can. Wait. Uh. What about your noble phantasms? Those aren't similar, right? Yeah, noble phantasms aren't anything alike. Mine's awesomely fun and flashy and just plain cool. And yours is, well... I'm not usually one to judge, but isn't it kinda of grisly? I mean, it's something you came up with for the person you're supposedly love, right? Is that a challenge? Hey, I'm just calling it how I see it. I still don't know what an old phantasm does, I think. Does she shoot ice out of her mouth in it at all? Or is that just her regular attacks? I really don't know. You know, no, think my noble phantasm is grizzly, do you, master? <laughs> Pretend not to see her is ignoring her. Whistling nonchalantly is ignoring her. This ain't going to go well. Bottom one. If I can actually tap. Master! Compared to mine. And so gently you never think it belonged to an Oni, and it shines even brighter at night. True, the noble phantasm does seem like it would be more effective at night. That's perfect then. There's something I'd like you to help me with this evening. Hmm. Huh? You see? I can't believe he wants to use the noble phantasm to put on a show and spread the word about his hotel. That's what does he think Oni are, anyway? My Nova Phantasm is only meant for Master. There are far too many ways to interpret that. No kidding. Oh, don't worry about it. Let's use it once and th that'll be the end of it. Luckily, the beach here is pretty much overrun with crabs and chickens at night. <laughs> oh, oh that, that sounded like a chicken just now. 
Monica! I know. Don't worry, the oven's all warmed up and ready. Just keep them coming. You got it. I sit back and leave everything to me. All I demand in return is that you save the best parts for me. Yes, yes, I know. Alright, Master. Let's do this thing. Fried chicken, deep fried chicken, bumpkin chicken, rotisserie chicken, chicken sashimi. <laughs> this is shaping up to be a decent meal. Now let's chow down Oni style. Alright. Dang, that purple chicken has a lot of HP. Jeez. My, my poor Jolter is probably going to take a beating here. Just saying. He's probably going to take a massive beating. Thank you for not attacking her. Can we actually take out the Vorpal Chicken this round? Oh yeah, we can. Thanks for that crit. Okay, now. So do this, this, and then this. Gotta make sure we get Jones and Noble Phantasm up as high as we can. So that way when we actually go into the third battle, we might be able to just instantly demolish. Alright. Two Berserkers and one Saber. So do this, this, and then this. Hey! Crit, N thank you very much. So now, question is, will we actually have a Noble Phantasm here? Yeah, 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 we will. Only one of them can have it, though. If only one of them can have it, I'm glad at least it's our Jolene that has it. Up yourself up. Still need to get her skills to 10, but that's neither here nor there right now. I'll do that when I actually know I have the materials fully. Okay. There she is. The other crazy. Totally, still probably said that wrong, but it's fine. Darling crazy. I keep forgetting about the darling crazy. Hey, thank you for the crit. And we won. Six turns. Not bad, not bad at all. Went by a lot faster than I thought it would. Hey, our, uh, Mr. Code's almost, I think, seven now. So it's slowly getting there. We might be able to max it before the event is over. I think. <laughs> Behold! The fireworks are Mount Oe! What a beautiful noble phantasm! It really is the uh, evocative of summer! Right? Sean Alton shooting came up with the name for it. Sean Alton's contribution was... Isn't he a noble phantasm just a... Uh, what, what's it called? Rakuten Faust, I think. Oh no, it's nothing like that. A first spear turns into five spears, then turns into a fist. Then I imagine that they're, they're sooner, and I punch the living hell out of them. And then launches them way up into the air. I gotcha, so it's an overlayer schneet. Shoot and fiddle around my spirit origin and make it for me. He said if my spirit origin was gonna change, my noble phantasm ought to change with it. I'm so glad she helped out, but it really tickled. By the way, what language are those words anyway? Sounds really cool. 
German. I think if I were gonna name you an old phantasm, I'd have call it something like Encomia Moriae. Moriae. Encomia Moriae. And from, from shooting. Hmm. I'm not really sure how one go, sh should go about naming a noble phantasm. Oh wait, it is that or something. Now what was it called again? We didn't have a word for it back when we were alive, you know. Those things that tear off when you twist them and fall apart if you squeeze them. Hmm, what was that called? Anyway, back to noble phantasms. If by some quirk of fate you find yourself with a new one someday, my question is, what should you call it? Hmm. Funny Baraki, like I said, I don't know much about this stuff. But what about something like, I don't know, the fireworks in Mount Doe? And of course, if you're gonna call it something like that, you'd better make sure it's as pretty as the real thing you hear. Listen, Ibaraki. Only like us are supposed to be greedy about everything you know, it's in our nature. So if there's two things you want, you have to make sure you get both. Sure, you could find one thing you want and hang on to it, or find one person you want and gnaw on them till you nobble, gobbled up every last bit. That's a nice, simple, modest way of life. All well and good for people who aren't us. We're only, we don't do modesty or restraint. We take anything and everything we want. So if there's another name you want to add to your hypothetical noble phantasm, just add it on top of the fireworks. And there's the epic tale of how my new noble phantasm got its awesome name. Now let's keep this show going. Kaboom! Ooh! Ah! <laughs> Just doing that to be funny. I didn't know that was actually gonna be the two choices. Ah. Bravo. What's all that about? We we, we just shout whatever comes to mind when watching fireworks. All right, time to get in on this too. Arthur. Dr. G Bell from 108. Cut you, Nagi. I said a compliment when he said my bell doubles perfectly as an iron girdle. Oh, I'd better make sure to cook the boy inside all the way through. My dinner could get kind of messy. Alright, all done. Boonica, boonica. Don't worry. There's plenty to go around. Good, good. Still, as yummy as this is, it is getting a little boring having nothing but meat all the time. I think you might say that, so I got you some dessert. Here, have a macaron. I didn't know you could read minds. It just means you masses have to know how to do all sorts of things. It must be rough. Believe me, I know how tiring it is always trying to be considerate and stuff. So don't worry about that tonight. Tonight all you have and I have to think about is eating as much as we want. Ooh. <laughs> Today was lots of fun too, wasn't it? That it was. Eating succulent meat and sweet treats. Seeing pretty g scenery, going swimming in the wide open sea. Huh. I guess tropical life isn't too bad. It's a perfect place to experience all the summer indulgences humans love. That it is. And now I'm going to end this part here and I will be back once we actually get to the next day. Unless the next day is right now, I don't remember. I think it might be the next day, so actually I need to... Yep. Day four. Loco Moco. We have no battles, it's just full-on story. All right. Seven Summer 2020 Festival. Loco Moco. Hmm. To think there was an island so bathed in sunlight this far to the east. What a grand world we inhabit. 
Now then, since the Seven Fest event holds little of interest for one such as myself, how should I go about spending my time here? Lord Babbage. Oh, if it isn't a samurai from the East, how do you do? Oh, I suppose I cannot complain. How about you? What brings you to these parts? Loco Moco. <laughs> well, going for some Loco Moco. Loco Moco. Indeed, Loco Moco. Flan, absolutely insisted, you see. So we're going to a place that I'm told has excellent Loco Moco bowls. I confess, at the outset of summer, I never imagined I would have a chance to go out for Lokomoka Bowls in Hawaii, but just my dear daughter, oh, and Babbage as well, I suppose. And after that, we'll go play on the beach and enjoy all the sights Sevenfest has to offer. What more could a proud papa want? Dance, of course, is nothing. <laughs> with a schedule like this, I will have nearly a second to dream up my usual schemes. It's a shame, really. Given that a sour, certain dour detective seems to be stuck at cold day and therefore unable to interfere in any such dastardly designs. Papa, you're not going to start scheming again, are you? No, no, of course not. Patters the thought, my dear girl. Now then, what say we visit Diamond Head in the afternoon? I'm told the view of the beach from there up there is positively divine. And given this marvelous time we live in, I no doubt we'll be able to reach the peak in some manner of a luxurious conveyance. I can't wait. Disclaimer. The path to Diamond's Head's peak is strictly foot traffic only. Please also note that there are no vending machines on the trail, so make sure to bring plenty of water. Hooray! Look at Moko Diamond Head doll! A trip to Diamond Head after a bowl of Loco Moko, eh? That does sound like a perfect way to spend a day. I beg your pardon, Sir Samurai, but we must be on our way. Oh, want to look a mucker with us, mister? I appreciate your invitation, but I was just planning to go for a walk around our lodgings. <laughs> go and enjoy your time as a family. Okay, thanks, mister. Let's get look a mucker together some other time. But Fran, Fran, I don't know how I feel about you hitting on a man the same age as your papa. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> it warms my heart to see a family getting along so well. That aside, I have not the faintest notion of what Lokomoko is. Oh, Lord Tajima, what an odd coincidence for us to find ourselves on the same island. Are you here for Seven Fence as well? No, whatever the reason may be, I do not find these modern events to be my tastes. And so I've elected to dedicate my time here to more traditional pleasures. What about you? I'm actually in much the same boat. It does seem to be a fun gathering, but it's, I cannot try to save my life. I am content to watch as others enjoy themselves. Besides, there are plenty of other fun things to do on this island, so I thought it would be best to attempt as many of them as I could. Huh. I have to admit, it is nice visiting another country like this. Agreed. I can think of a few better opportunities for broadening one's horizons. By the way of example, I just learned of two words I had never heard before. Oh really? What were they? Loco moco. Loco moco? Indeed, I've also been given to understand that there is something called a loco moco bowl. I see, loco moco bowl, huh? Indeed. The words loco moco have a delightful ring to them. But I cannot imagine what they might be. Hmm. Locomoco, Locomoco Bowl. They do have a delightful ring to them, yes. Yoshihide would have loved to hear this word when he was little. They do have a delightful ring to them, yes. Yoshihide would have loved to, have he to hear these. They do have a delightful ring to them, yes. Yoshihide would have loved to hear this when he was little. Yes, good point. I can easily imagine young boys happily chanting these words against amongst themselves. Shichiro would. I I had to do a quick pause. I wasn't sure who talked there. Whoopsie. 
Forgive me. Oh, hello. The Kunoichi. I apologize for employing my presence concealment and removing it so suddenly. I am Mochizuki Chiyome, and I couldn't help but overhear your conversation. I believe you were discussing local Moko. I too have heard of it. If you will permit me, I will share what I know. If you will permit. I swear I tapped. <laughs> no need for such formalities. We all servants under the same master now. Go on, tell us. You are not my servant, and neither is Chiyome, or sadly, goes in. As you wish. Lokomoko is named for one of Lulohawa's most famous foods. Food, is it? It consists of white rice with a hamburg steak and sunny side egg on top with a bit of gravy added for additional flavor. It is delicious. I see. That would explain how such a dish could be served in a bowl. Yes, sir. I would have thought that was obvious, but I'll keep that to myself. I know of hamburger steak and sunny side up eggs too. Lord Emmy and Lady Boudica have made both for me a number of times before. They are delicious. Although, hmm. There's something wrong. I am sure this is because it is a Lulahawan specialty, but well. I had already imagined a locomoco to be a cute and unusual creature indigenous to this exotic land. I see. It is too soon to give up. Locomoco could well be a dish named after such a creature. Hey, yeah. Um, I'm afraid that is. Well done, Lady Mochizuki. From here on, we shall undertake this quest to uncover the truth of the Lokomoko ourselves. Your assistance has been invaluable. I am in your debt. I, I am, but a humble Kunoichi, my lord, and you are a renowned da daimyo. Please do not bow your head to me. Oh gosh, forgive me. Very well then. Let us be on our way, Lady Tomoe. We must solve the riddle of Lokomoko. Right. Maybe I shouldn't have said anything. It's too late. Oh, you want to know the origins of Lokomoko? I'm afraid I don't know much about Hawaii. Uh, I see. That's all right. I am certain we can track down ent entomology on our own. I am certain that it must be an adorable animal beloved by children everywhere. Indeed. <laughs> hey guys, it sounds like there's a really fun discussion going on here. What are you all talking about? The gentleman explained. Look at Mocha's origins. Hmm, that's a tough question. Nobody knows for sure where the lo words Lokomoko came from. We don't know if they originated in Hawaii. What we do know is that they're well established by now. The first thing that would come to most people's minds upon hearing them is that dish. It seems that no new name's origin hasn't stopped it from becoming such a widely popular term. It's really kind of mystical in its own way when you think about it. What brought this up anyway? So its origins are known. Please cheer up Lord Tajima. This is actually good news. This leaves us with the possibility that it may indeed have some sort of cl cute creature. Perhaps a phantasmal of some sort. A child of monsters here. I see that would certainly explain strange yet pleasant sounding name. Truly, you are possessed by a wondrously flexible mind, Lady Tomoe. It's no wonder, you. Uh -huh. Thank you, Lord Tachima. This isn't over yet. Now that we have come this far, we should see this through to the end. Maybe one of this island's elders will know something about it. Very well. Then let us be on our way. Great, and let's ask Lady Chiyomi to join us too. There they go. I can't seem to recall any creature called the Lokomoko. In Hawaii or anywhere else for that matter. But I didn't even get a chance to say so, hmm. Not to worry. It's all part of Mahatma. It may be difficult spending all your time looking for the truth of something you're not even sure exists, but doing it on a trip for a little while can be a lot of fun. And who knows, they might just make a fascinating discovery. That they might. 
Now come on guys, let's go see what new Mahatma we can find here in Liluhawa. Oh crap, now they've got her going too. <laughs> oh yep, yep. Have fun you two. Have fun going around trying to find that new Mahatma. Now I will be right back on day, on night four, was it? Yeah, night four for this. 300,000, 300,000. I've got 300,000 of everything. We are currently 37,560 influence away from 1 million. And then we should at least be able to guarantee ourselves to finally be able to get out of the first part of summer one, summer three. And then I can finally start doing summer two. Oh my god, it's been a long time coming, but it's almost here. This, however, is also on day five. I actually tapped on the right one for once. So, I will be right back on night four. After two free parts. And we might be able to hit one million, or at least we'll be really close. Alright, this time, it's again another day. We have three something hours. Hours? Wow, I'd be really screwed then. No, three something days left. I would never let it get down to that point. For three hours. Totally wouldn't. But yeah. Oh boy. Family Frag. You got this. And as you can see, we have 1,003,360 points. So we're. At least fine for finishing the main storyline. Let's see if we can even get to it, because wasn't there another one after this that we could do on day five? I think there was. In which case, we are not getting anything else done anytime soon. Hey, someone else from my friends list has BB. They apparently just got her. Oh, that hurts. All right, let's bring you. But hey, at least this time, I actually tapped on this mission before I started recording. So I don't have to wait for it to load. Let's go. Well, for it to load in the new day. Family Fragu! Down, down, down. I think I'll take a little break. Good evening, Master. Lovely weather tonight, isn't it? Still wearing your swimsuit, huh? Are you taking a break too, Jean? Yes, I am. I'm just on my way to the beach now. Would you care to join me, Master? Hell yeah. Don't tell Jolter I said that, though. I must say, Master, you certainly have your work cut out for you every year. First there was that desert island and a vase, and now Seventh Mass. And since it's summer, lots of servants tend to get a little... out of hand. Does it just, just not occur to them to try and conduct themselves more modestly? You sound like a per head... Like a head perfect. You sound like a mother. I believe you mean big sister, right? Right? <laughs> I mean, aren't big sisters and mothers technically act- Don't they act the same? Don't they? <laughs> what was the- Oh, hey, 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 I just remembered. You remember how I, I- I- At least I think I said this while doing one of the other parts. How I would like to be able to actually, you know, s drop down the chat box so I can actually see, like, the full image. Yeah, I've played this game for three years. And I have never once known this, but... Hey, look at that! We get to see the full view of Jean now. I have never once known this my entire time of playing this game. I saw Kitashan 
reacting to something. I can't really say it because of spoilers. But then I saw that he pinched the screen or something and it dropped the box. It took me till I saw that video for me to realize that you could do that. I even came back previously and looked to see if I actually could. And yeah, 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 I could. I'm, I've just been stupid apparently this entire time for three years. Never once knowing that. That is the saddest thing ever because look. You just swipe up to bring it back and swipe down to get it away. It doesn't matter where you are on the screen. As long as you do the motion, you can get it away. I feel so stupid. I just figured I'd share that. But again, big sisters and mothers tend to act similar, don't they? I'm still too young to. I mean, it's too, it's too soon for me to be a parental figure. I mean, I could help you with that. No? Anybody? No? <laughs> I'll stop. So I'm perfectly happy sticking with my big sister position. That said, I'm still in perfectly high spirits myself. I can tell this place has had a relaxing effect on you too, Master. Sure, it looks like there's something more going on behind the scenes, but never mind that now. We're in Lulu Hawa. Relaxing is the order of the day. Please, don't think of me as your servant here. Let's see. How much do you think of me as your big sister? <laughs> you really love this big sister shtick, don't you? Hey, I mean, a big sister will work just as fine as well. I mean, anyone seen the anime a Little Sister's All You Need? I mean, in this case, a big sister's all you need. Case in point. I guess. <laughs> that way, once it's time to get back to restoring humanity, you can still count on me for any help you need. I mean, I always did that anyways. Albeit, your ruler form only has certain things that you could do, and, uh... Yeah, without any buffs and that stun, it was really annoying. Speaking of which, didn't they get rid of that stun that she had on her Noble Phantasm? I still haven't actually got... I have like a 9 million people that I need to actually upgrade. So all those could be episodes in and of themselves. That's probably how long their stories are. Why do you see what a good big sister I am? Thanks to all the practice I've had with Alter and Alter Lily. You'll be saying you're the best big sister ever before you know it. What about a waifu instead? I mean, a big sister waifu again, that that, that works in the, in the laws of anime. It works. Alright, let's start by holding hands. But, but, but... Holding hands is lewd, isn't it? <laughs> At least according to a lot of people. <laughs> Every good big sister holds hands with her little sister. Now, let's -a go! So, I guess I have a big sister now. Nachan? Now, that doesn't sound quite right. You really ca must call me sis, or I'll simply ignore you. What's that? I'm the one who's still not acting a bit too formally. Hmm, <laughs> you may be right. I guess I need to learn how to be more casual if I'm going to be a big, good big sister. Uh, <clears throat> uh, what's up, sweetie? I must say, that was rather an awful experience. You know, while we're at it, why don't we invite Dalton out to Lily to join us? I mean, then I'd have an older sister. Well, actually, hold on. Wouldn't, wouldn't that technically then make uh, Jalter also the Onesan in this situation? So we got two Onesans and a little sis. Hmm. There's a lot of little sister action going on around here. Uh, did I just... Sister action. Not little sister. Sister action. <laughs> Let's be clear about that. Total it's totally not like when Edomanga Sensei right now. What, what are you, Mo? 
Totally not. We'll be one big happy family. Four sisters all together. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Totally. Eh, 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 eh. I honestly wouldn't mind that. Oh, here they come now. Over here. What the hell is this? It's almost my bedtime, you know. Oh, that's why we're fighting a berserker and a lancer. That's why. We're fighting Jolter and Jolter Lily. I'm assuming. We got a little sister now. All of us. That's right. I want you both to welcome our newest addition to the family, Cell. So what I'm seeing here is that you got a suspicious chick hanging around you claiming she's your big sister. Listen, master. When it comes to this kind of weird, creepy bullshit, you just gotta learn to be firm and say no. Otherwise, you'll just get dragged into their freaky delusions. Even though my whole time I'm is being thing is being prim and proper, I think this Lula Hawa heat is getting to me too. I should have known that winter is much better. Come on, hurry up and get here, winter. Don't worry, it's getting here. It's almost here. Well, that's too bad. They're being even more stubborn about this than I thought. Now what do we do, Cell? I suppose we had a choice left, but just persuade them a little more forcefully. I like this side of you, Jean. I like this little fiery side of you that you know, you've hidden all this time until you became an archer. All right. Mode to change you. Oh, a dolphin. Hello, dolphin. Oh, there's so many teeth. The hell are you doing, Lily? This bitch is trying to brainwash us with her fists. We need to take her down now before Master starts buying into her crazy, too. Come, give me a hand, Cell. Family needs to stick together. Honestly? I'm- I think this might be my favorite little sub-story to this event so far. This is hilarious. <laughs> I just realized I brought John, who's an archer, in a fight with a lancer. Oh god. Well. That was fun while it lasted. Guess we got to... Buster! Joan Alter down as fast as we can. And then hopefully Joan can survive the Noble Phantasm, which she can't because she has Invincible. Never mind. It, sh it should be fine. I should have put Jolter's ability on to evade. My bad. Thank you for attacking BB, Lily. Alright, so do this, this, and then this. Hey, BB, nice bitch. Jolta, nice bitch on yourself as well. Thank you. That's one evade. Okay. Now do this, this, actually do this, and then this. Hey, 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 nice crit. Honestly, I didn't know that was going to be the actual end result of what was going to happen, but I'm fine with it. I'm not fine, however, with that charge gain you just gave yourself, Lily. BB? Oh, hell yeah, we get to see BB's Noble Phantasm. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Now, give yourself Invincible. Jolta will have Evade. How well that'll do, though, I do not know. Let's put this on to BB's. Increase the Noble Phantasm strength and... BB channel. I'll just, I'll just, I'll just say that because it's CC. So, uh, yeah. 
At least Moon Cancer does normal damage to the Lancers, otherwise this might be a while. No! No! BB's Noble Phantasm gets rid of charge! Well, luckily Jones uh, Invincible lasts for two turns. Really attack. Shoulder, no! Dumb it, Lily! How dare you! BB at least has evade. Marsha, give yourself invincible, please. I'm not upset, I'm just disappointed over the fact that she actually has a freaking noble phantasm that gets rid of one charge. I will say though, she, the, she did a lot of damage in that one brave chain. Holy crap. Sorry, Lily, but you're not damaging us with that noble phantasm of yours. Also, I don't believe it's because it's last two turns. I believe it's just two invincibles, right? Yeah, two times. It lasts for three turns, but it, you only get invincible twice. All right, Masha, I need her to go after you. Meanwhile, Lily, Lily gets beaten to a pulp by BB. I'm sorry, Lily. Shall become my younger sister. Even if we need to beat it, beat it the little sister tendencies into you. I'm sorry. John made me do it. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, crap. She obviously gives herself freaking uh, invincible. God dang it. <sighs> the only one that can go through invincible is... Uh, what was his name? No, seriously, what was his name again? The one that goes through Invincible is... Count the Monte Cristo. Edmund Dantes, holy crap. All right, Joan. This is what you wanted, right? This is what you wanted? To beat it into her? The hell she ends? The hell it crazy. Totally still messed that up, but hey. Joan, Joan wanted to beat her into submission to become her little sister. I'll let her do it. I'm sorry. Eight turns, not bad for beating them into submission to become our sisters. Not bad at all. <laughs> so this is how you get a little sister. You know, a big sister. Good to know. You really are my little sister. Hey, I'm not the youngest anymore. Wait. 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 I had this backwards. Does that mean I'm the little sister of all of them? That means Lily is, is, is the Onesan? Uh... Nani? It's much better. Was it? <laughs> okay to do that. Of course, trust me. Your big sister is always right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, 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 son. There's still more. Oh, we both worked very hard today, didn't we? All that's left now is to take a bath and to go to bed. Oh, oh, oh. Does Big Sis want to take a bath with Little Sis? Oh, and the guy she must? 
I certainly can't help you wash up now that you, you're so big, so. Uh, yeah, I got it, thanks. God dang it. Wait, I'll be here when you get out. Oh, Nissan, please. My arms are broken. I can't do anything. You're gonna have to wash me yourself. <laughs> Is this still ongoing? Yeah, 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 it is. I love it. I'm, I'm nice and clean now, Cell. Why am I on the bed? Why? So you can use me as a lap pillow, silly. This is the greatest day of my life. <laughs> In fact, I insist on it. Now, up you go. Hi. Well, how does it feel? It's not too hard or anything, is it? No, 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 nothing around here is too hard. No, 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 nothing is. No, 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 totally not. No, it's uh, nice and soft. How am I supposed to sleep like this? <laughs> Great. Heh, <laughs> I never thought I would get tough my someone my lap after becoming a servant. This is a dream come true, master. All right, you're my little sister now, aren't you? Good night, my darling little cell. Sleep well. I promise you. I'll do everything I can to make sure your life is peaceful and happy. Tehe? Please, let it continue. Let it continue. Oh boy, Mosh. Um, uh... I can explain. So that's wh why you were letting Senpai sleep in your lap all night. I didn't even know that was a thing you could do. Yeah, 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 it's a thing you can do, Masha. You gonna try it? Of course it is. I'm her big sister, after all. I finally came to my senses after waking up. You're seriously not my little sister, right? Sorry, we already filed the papers last night, Jolter. It's official. I'm your little sister. Exactly. I know I know because she's my big sister. Wait, what? I know because she's my big sister. So wait, am I now your big sister? Why are you talking about John and being your big sister? I don't know. This brainwashing hasn't worn off yet. Yep. It hasn't worn off on her yet, but because now she sees me as the big sister. That makes a lot more sense than her being the Onesan. Can it continue, please? No, <laughs> no. It's official. This was my favorite part of, of of summer three. It's official. That was literally my favorite story so far on summer three. That was hysterical. <laughs> the brainwashing of the little sister and the big sister had commenced. You know. Yeah. You know. <laughs> I'm 28 grails. Big sis. I'm not actually gonna do it. I just wanted to show show and see how many grails I actually had. But wouldn't it be hysterical if I ended up grailing her to 100 because of that? I really should grail someone at some point. I just don't know who. Again, I wanted to be Jolter, but at the same time, John just uh, went up even higher marks because of that. I uh, I am I am so very confused. All right, play hard, play hard. This better be better than the uh, John story, or else I'm gonna be sorely upset. Nothing is probably gonna top that. Play hard, play hard. Please be at least somewhat of a good story. That is at least somewhat on par with Jean's story. Wow, look at all this open space, Master. It's as lush and beautiful as any crusty plane I've seen. 
I can't believe this used to be the inside of a volcano. Oh, Fowl! I'm glad Fowl and Ushuakamaru are enjoying themselves senpai. Taking a break outside was a really good idea. They do seem to be in high spirits. They do look happy about this. Oh yes, I've been happy to devote myself to serving a Shibati Gun Master. But I plan on taking full advantage of this break time. If I'm going to cut loose, then I'm going to cut extremely loose. That's just who I am right now. I'm so glad I'm recording right now and I didn't accidentally not record that scene. Oh, Master, there's something I've been wanting to try together. Would you join me for it? What, some outdoor activity? Sure. Of course. Training? What else? Uh. Denied? I think this will be of great help to you too, Master. Making a book takes a lot of stamina after all. And right now, the teaching of Mount Kurama closest to my heart is training is play, play is training. And so on that note, let's play, Master. Oh, give me those puppy dog eyes, you. Can't argue with that. What are we waiting for? Do those to puppy dog eyes yet you don't come home? How dare you! Catch this! Fouch! 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 Well done, Lord Fouch! But now it's my turn, go on, Master, throw it in faster and faster, further this time! So, are we throwing a frisbee? If so, please tell me she catches it with her mouth and brings it back like an actual dog. That would be hysterical. Huh, piece of cake. How do I do, Master? I'm not sure how I feel about treating her the same way as Foe. Hey, I mean, if she wants it, she wants it, right? There's no reason to deny her this. Well, this is what she asked for, exactly. Next, I... Oh... Chee. What's up, Jack? Chee. Chee. <laughs> it's the Chee Quartet. Chee. Quintet. I probably just messed that up. <laughs> uh huh. I see some children looking this way quite intently. Master. Do it, you two. Now who could be out there spying on us? There you are. Bow. Uh huh, we've caught you now, you scoundrels. Now for your punishment, you have to join us. It's okay. If we play with you, we can. Are you sure? Yay! Of course. But be warned, our playtime is no ordinary playtime. Here, yeah, playing is also training and vice versa. And that means you can come at me with everything you've got. I can take you all on without breaking a sweat. Okay, then here we go. I'm sweating like a pig. <sighs> <sighs> Now I've got... Yeah! What? Hiding in a pile of peasants? That seems kind of wasteful, but that's some quick thinking. <laughs> Everyone hide! Tehe! <laughs> Run away! I still don't have nursery rhyme, by the way. This sucks. Run for it! Oh, using peasant concealment, turning into a book, fighting off on a babe of the, ar the ox. I see you all taking this seriously. Great, but don't expect me to go easy on you. I may not be very mature, but that's alright. I'm a child now too, so howl, my Tengu fan. Ah, I'm going to be blown away. Bunyan, please grow big enough for me to hide behind you. Why did I say Bunyan? Bunyan. Bunyan. These kids sure have a lot of energy. 
I think I need a little break. Wow. Yes, I'm drenched in sweat too. Why don't we take a break and crawl up in the shade? Huh, isn't that? Ben and Kay, what are you doing? It's Ben and Kay. He's watching the others play. Just ask them if you can play too. Why don't you join them? Oh, hello, Master. La Lady Marsh. Thank you, but I'm not looking to join them. I would hate to inadvertently end up traumatizing the children after all. <laughs> no, I was just watching Lord Yoshitsune play. It is deeply moving for me to see this. That much? Of course. I suppose I should be calling her Lord Ushiwakamaru, especially now. I think being on this island has helped her get a bit closer to who she used to be back when she was training on Mount Karama. To the best of my knowledge, she didn't have many friends back then, at least none who were human. The only reason she survived was her affinity for nature, animals, and Tengu. She must have had a wild childhood. But later, when she was commanding us as a warrior for the Genji clan, well, she still had moments of lighthearted mischief, but she was first and foremost a cold, calculating general who strove for perfection in all of her actions and pursuits. So to see her playing so I I idyllically with children right before my eyes, it's a novel and deeply moving experience for me. I feel as though I'm seeing another way mo my most renounced of lords could have turned out. Ben K. Hmm, I soon do I come to ask Master and Lady Mars if they're ready to start playing with us again, when I see your ugly mug. Wow. This works out nicely. You, Kaison, will be my new steed. Uh, he wants me to give you a shoulder ride. Just like that, and please, my lord, my name is Benke. Uh, was it? Well, no matter, our next game will be a joust. I was playing to ask Master and Lady Mars to play, but now that you're here, I won't have to. Now, if I like the wind, Hitachi Bow. This may be play, but it is also training. You monks like to train, don't you? This is your wish, my lord. I'm willing to oblige. But please, for the moment, call me Musashi Bow. Eh? That horse is a scary muscle ghost. Don't worry, we can beat him. Is that Lady Buddy on a giant blue ox, with three children sitting atop her head? But how does that qualify as a horse? What? You don't think you can take them? I swear, this is the problem with you Ben K look likes. Oh yeah, I will overcome. <laughs> well, it looks like Ben K is going to get to enjoy the play slash training for himself. Why don't we take advantage of this and relax a little longer? Yes, let's do just that. And just as fast as it started, it also ended. I mean, it was fun, but again... My favorite scene will always be that one of the sisters. <sighs> at, least, at least at one point I could say I've had two big sisters and a little sister. So sad. Okay, well. Technique is... I don't know. Do I have enough rings? I, I know I have enough rings by now. But like, what else is here? Oh, don't worry. I need to do that because we only have three days left for the event. And I don't know how long the second part of the event is. Oh, dang. So we get another one of these craft essences at 800 points. 1,000 points. Okay. So, yeah. There's nothing really else here besides that one extra ring. But it all depends also on who my support is. But other, either way, enhance. Now, it is finally time. Uh, ascension. Scotty. It is now finally time for Scotty to finally I said that way too many times already. Ascend to her final form. And then any other rings I can finally get will go to MHXX. 
She'll probably be max ascended in, in, in one more year. Ooh, nice. Why, thank you, my queen. Thank you very, very much. Now that she is max ascended, I just need to get her to level 90. Which will happen in my off time sometime in the future, but now... I need to go. It's day 5, right? Yeah, it's day 5, so anything else? That we could do. This was 500,000 on each category. That's not going to be for maybe... Three to four more loops. But the main story for the first part of the event will be ending on this loop. So, yeah. Fifth night. Nope, nope. Not fifth night either. Because that requires 500,000 imagination. So, yeah. Everything else that we're going to be doing now is mainly story. So, I will see you guys on the sixth day. For the 800,000 doujin. Which then might go into night. And then go into the final day of Servant Fest. For us to finish the first half of the dang event. Then I can work my butt off to get everything else done before three days is over. Alright. A fight to the death. Beach of volleyball. Is that too much? Probably too much. So, we are fighting Seiba and Ronza. Sadly, we do not have any... Uh, <laughs> we don't have any Seiba to deal with the Ronzas. Actually, does anyone have the cheese? Level 1 cheese. No one else has the cheese. Kind of sucks. Okay, well, let's just bring fun instead. Let's -a go. Seven Summer 2020 Festival. A fight to the death. Beach of volleyball. Still probably a little bit too much with that. <laughs> Stop, Paul. Today's the last day we got to polish everything up. How are things coming along? Not bad, though I'm still not sure it'll be enough to snag first place. As for rivals, they're all still in the, in the running. I'd say Mabe's the favorite to win, half followed by John. Only one day left. Let's give it everything we have, Senpai. Hi. I'll give it everything I have to not stare at everyone in the Mizugi while they're, uh... Playing beach volleyball. Uh, another beautiful day. A day that's practically paying for my victory. Hey, hey. If it isn't Queen Mabe. I'll be rooting for you hard in today's contest. Utsotsuki! You betrayer! Does she end up doing something and that's why he, uh... Said what he said at the end last time? Oh, well, could I get your autograph, too? I guess the autograph's okay, but there's no way I'm shaking your hand. Why, well, if it isn't Lady Mabe. Oh, God. Kotaro, no. Don't fall for this. But you honor me with an autograph. I'm uh, sure, okay. Autograph, please. Huh? So I know there's a short notice, but I'm changing the rules of the Mabe contest. Huh? What do you mean? See, I was thinking. A beauty contest might prove how beautiful I am, but it won't tell me prove how strong I am. Besides, when it comes to my beauty, everyone already knows there is no contest. So if I'm going to stay in the top the rest of the seven world, I'm going to have to get more aggressive. Which means, you guessed it, beach the volleyball. Go on then, give it up for your queen's brilliant decision. 
Boo. I said give it up. Now then, I need to get pre prepared for battle, so the rest of you, listen up. When I get back, I want to see this place turn into the best beach volleyball court ever got that. Uh-huh. Yeah, sure. Damn it. Now I know I'm going to be late. Here's your autograph. Oh, this is great. Thanks so much. Okay, next. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm never gorgeous with this many people lining up for my autograph. Hey, is our plan finally in action? That just doesn't make sense. If this keeps up, I'm going to need to bring in a manager. Well, anyway, I'm getting bored, so I'm going to head back for a bit. You'll just have to wait a while for my autograph, my pathetic little honeybees. <clears throat> this is Agent DC. The queen has returned to the nest. I repeat, the queen has returned to the nest. This is Agent Steam. The situation has been contained. The nest has been destroyed. I repeat, the nest has been destroyed. Now then, let's strike it, Twitch. 3,000 guild bucks on Queen Mame. Put me down for 30,000 fluffy bucks. What about 66 trillion, 200 billion BB bucks? You just wanted to try saying that, didn't you? I did. Any tickets on the long shot, Ushiwakamaru. Now offering odds of 10,000 to 1 on her victory. Everything on Ushiwakamaru, please. I see, we've got a risk taker on it in our midst. Are you sure about this, Master? Of course she is. It's our only chance of beating Mabe, remember. If we don't make her lose miserably here, she'll end up selling the most books at the Seven Fest again. Exactly. If our opponent means to fend the flames of her popularity before the contest, all we need to do is prevent her from doing so. But what if Mabe declares she's going to go back to the original beauty contest? I'm back, don't worry, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> Tricks me every time. How can you be so sure? Queen Mabe's most defining trait is that she m must be the most beautiful woman in the world. At least that is what her pride tells her. Whether her spirit origin is wearing a swimsuit or not makes no difference. At the same time, she is incapable of betraying her fans. She may be more than happy to sneer and walk all over those who would defy her. For those who swear loyalty to her, her good-looking braves. For her, their ideals are sacred, sacrosanct, sacrosanct. I have no clue how to say that. They are her pride and the source of her power. Yeah, that's right. That's it exactly. Oh, you got here quicker than I expected, Mabe. You guys made a real mess of things. You knew I would never abandon my queenly responsibilities. It would be an amateur move to bring down my. Uh, so Soldiers' morale right when they're all excited. And now that you've got someone taking bets, my hands are tied. Especially since that affects my own sponsors. Stupid Professor Brookie. I can't believe he went and bribed them. Damn it, Moolah. Very well then. Decide who your teammates will be. We have already chosen our lineup. Oh, I will. You better believe I will. If that's how you want to play, I'll change this contest into something more appropriate for summer. But in that case, I'm going to use my ultimate trump card, the royal m mead authority I'll almost never use. Super good looking brave. As a woman of fairy blood, the queen of evil, and the queen of connect, I order you to help me. Cool. Doubt I know. The hell? Why am I on a beach? I thought I was finally getting some handicrafts done. Aw, oh, crap, Mabe. Hey, Ku. Sorry to pull you out here on such a notice, but there's too much fighting on this contest. Can I count on you to defend Canuck's honor? That's serious, huh? Guess I can't say no in that case. So what are we doing here? Competing for cows? Nope, we're going to take on Cell's team in beach volleyball. Ku Kulin, as a man and a warrior of the Celts, I want you to help me fight for the Celts' pride. Beach volleyball. It's way more peaceful than I was expecting. 
But all right, this ought to be interesting. Guessing, guess the tropics have made you soft too. Well, this took an unfortunate turn. But that's what they mean by letting sleeping dogs lie, teacher. Indeed. Let's be less Alexander. If you're going to wake a sleeping dog, be ready for its fangs. Very well, Denzel. The rest is up to you now. Got it. All right, let's get this volleyball game started. Okay, so Ku is literally the only one that has a break bar. Kurose! Kurose! We must take out the cheese! I'll deal with the Lancer later. The most annoying part about Kuru is going to be his freaking evasion. Uh, I, hate, I hate the fact that she can charm freaking female servants. <laughs> That's one of the more annoying parts about her is the fact that she can charm other uh, female servants. So you're not even safe from that with her, apparently. Jalter, give, give me some beef, please. Alright, put on! Go, go, get your put on! Take out as much of Ku's HP as you can! Pretty decent amount as well. Good job. One more attack from like that and his break bar is gone. But he gave himself evasion. Of course he did. Oh, freaking course. How long does that evasion last? There's three evasions left. Okay, so it's not turn based. So to decrease his attack. Oh! I didn't realize, but that's a that's a buffer mover. How did I never realize that that removes buffs? I guess I've always glossed over the remove buffs part of that. <laughs> oh, Ku, you are so screwed right now. Ron's gonna have a noble phantasm, so. So if no one can take Fran out in this turn, she's gonna get her noble phantasm for next turn. Alright, crew, come on. Are you gonna change your berserker form or something? No, he just took off his clothes. And it uh, curse you in a dang evasion. Now is that the same type? Yeah, it's the same type. Okay, so Jean, I need you to give yourself in invincible. Jolty, you're gonna have one more evade. Fran, I'm gonna give this to you for your noble phantasm increase. So do this. One, two, three. Nope. It wouldn't work. But I mean, if she's gonna go down anyways, I might as well try it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If Ron is gonna go down, I might as well have her do her Noble Phantasm and attempt it. If anything, in that case, have Joel to do her abilities. Then bop, bop, and skewered plasma blade. I know it's a waste, but at least he'll be able to do a number of fantastic. And it gets rid of the one annoying part of it. I don't know what a number of fantastic does. Or at least I don't remember. I've seen it. And Ku's Noble Phantasm is Gable, which is a one enemy hit ability. 
And he hit Jolta with it, stupidly enough. Alright. So do this, this, and then this. Come on, you don't have the guts to take on John. I said John, not Jolter. God dang it. Oh well, at least Mashu can protect Fran. At least she can. Alright, John, I need you to do your noble phantasm since your ability is about to go away. So do that, and then Mosh, you can do that. Oh, He's gonna mount. Wait. Did I do target focus? I did, didn't I? That's yeah, fine. Do that to fun. Then do that. That and then that. Right, Kuru, you don't have what it takes to take on Fran. And yes, I know the burn is gonna take Fran out. But for move and resist. Yep, yep. But I needed her to have increased damage. Come on, Fran! Do as much as you can before your burn takes you out! Hey. Nicely done, Fran. Oh, I know her burn doesn't do half as much to herself as I thought it did. No longer have your noble fan, your defense. Fern has her noble phantasm with two buffs, including her. Well, technically three. Let's go. Skewin, plans my bleed. Goodbye, Koo. Oh my god, that actually worked. A little bit too close to come for the world. I would definitely say. And that is that. I somehow managed to make it to where Fran survived. God dang it. Eat this. Ah. It's out. Ah, I can't believe I lost. <laughs> it seems that, however nearly we beat you, Mabe. You are a fearsome opponent. That's going to clean, but it seems my training carried the day in the end. Uh-huh. Don't you talk to me like that. I work out every morning and night too, damn it. Huh. Good game, good game. It's a nice change of pace to work up a sweat on a court inside of a, instead of a battlefield. Why'd you have to be such a good sport about out there, Koo? You were supposed to play rough and dirty. You know, get all spiky and fill them full of holes. Hey, come on. You really think I'd do something that crude? You're the one who brought me here to play sports. Why would I go and ruin that by cheating? Oh, I guess you've got a point. But I hate losing just as much. Ha, <laughs> true. I believe that coming from you. But hey, it's good to lose every now and then and keep you on your toes. I'll see you around. Next time I'd like to try baseball. Oh, cool, you big dummy. Thanks for everything. Now then, Mr. Wakamaru, so, that's us. As humiliating as this is, I'm going to let you off at the third fake cliche. Don't think this means you've won. 
In fact, you haven't won yet. See you at 7 first. Good grief. Well, at least it should greatly reduce Mabe's popularity. Now it's all up to your dungeon and how many people it can attract. I know, from here on it's all up to us. We're gonna work hard together as a club to make a book that'll sell way better than Mabe's photo album. Then we're gonna claim the Holy Grail and slam it into cells, hey, and ourselves. Hell yeah! Let's do that! I'm still a long way off from finishing this event. <laughs> Why did I uh, wait this long? I mean, let it get this far? Oh, crap. It's another one of those. Oh, hey, well, uh. Oh, wait, hold on. Is, is that Seven Fest? Nope. N nope. No, it's not. It totally is not. It's another one of those, it's not going to show up until it shows up type of situation, is it? Well, that, 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 that kind of uh, sucks. With that, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys next one. Fill in. See you guys later.